An African American family in Loudoun County is distraught tonight because of hateful racist messages that were left in the snow. A swastika and the N word was written in huge letters right next to their house. Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox tells us the Loudoun County Sheriff's Department is investigating. It's sad. It just hurt. It really does. I just never imagined. Myra only wants to give her first name because she's a bit rattled over what was drawn and written in the snow by her home on Thursday afternoon. A swastika, a couple of male body parts, and in large letters, the N-word. I was devastated. I mean, my kids, my nine and six-year-old boys saw my reaction and they were very scared. Um, they asked me what the N-word meant. So that, that was kind of hard um, to explain that. They believe teenagers from another neighborhood did it. They were seen and heard on doorbell videos right before it happened. We didn't see them doing it on the video, but we saw some teens on the street just, mm -hmm. just acting up. You know? And asking about which house. Yeah, and asked, on one of the videos, they asked what house. I couldn't help but feel targeted. Mm -hmm. um, it's about, I don't know, 20 houses, maybe 18 to 20 houses on the street. So they passed all those houses. The N-word was written in your neighbor's yard, mm -hmm. but you feel targeted. Absolutely. Um, because she's not African-American. She's not African-American. We are uh, on our street. Uh, we are the only African-American family. The Loudoun County Sheriff's Department is looking into it, and it's collected evidence. But so far, it has not been able to identify a crime. It's not vandalism because the words were written in the snow, and any hate crime would have to be connected to a real crime. Nevertheless, the county board chairman says this is another wake up call and needs to be dealt with. These things happen in our county and other counties around the country. Um, we have to face them, we can't deny them, and we have to deal, deal with them straight on because mm -hmm. the pain that they cause for one family is unbearable and unacceptable. My kids have to grow up in this. That, that, that's just where I am, you know, I have to, to talk to them. And I know it's real and they need to know, but they're nine and six. I mean, come on. In Leesburg, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. Myra's family moved into their Willsburg neighborhood about 10 months ago. She says their neighbors have been nothing but supportive and kind. <laughs>